Hello, this is ReadFreak7, and today I'm going to be doing a video on WFs and AD converters. So, AD converters are really easy. All of these are for, like, if you have, let's say, a vehicle powered by thrusters and you can't hook up the turning ones or the reverse ones directly to the seat and control them that way. So the that's what these are for. So you see if I turn, if I press D, it goes that way, A, it goes that way. You can just hook up whatever you need to to these sensors here and here. Of course, you can also do this with buttons and just uh, remap it, remap your keyboard. So I could go down to like one and yeah, I have these set to TGFH. You can do that, or you can do it to WASD. You'll just have to relink your keyboard later. So, now we get into the more complicated side. The AD converters are relatively simple, you see. It's literally just this swinging back and forth in front of some sensors. The lights are just here for show. You don't need those. Um... It doesn't have to look like this either. You could literally just have like that and then have a sensor here and here. I'm just marking it and have them on one distance. And when it swings that way, that one picks it up, swings that way, that one picks it up. As I said, AD converters are really easy. Um, so WS converters are where it gets a little more complicated. Both of these are WS converters. This one's more reliable and faster. This one's a little slower and less reliable. But as you can see, this one's quite bulky. And if you were to use this in survival mode, you would need batteries for all three of these engines. Not exactly ideal. So this one, um, you can see it, there's not a whole lot of delay. It's pretty quick. Um, all this is doing is when I move this engine one way, when the sensor picks it up, one of these engines is pushing it the other way so it doesn't just glitch out here. Uh, I'll show you how to build this a little bit later. Um, so this one is using controllers, so it doesn't require any batteries or anything, so that's nice. But it is, And it's a little smaller, but it is a little bit less reliable. It's definitely got more of a delay, and it's a lot slower. So, I'd recommend not using this one unless you really have to. Um, so, let me show you how to build these. So, yeah. Okay, so, let's start with this guy. This one's pretty simple. We're just going to put down a platform so I can put down a seat and whatnot. I don't really need a seat, but I'm just putting one down to show you how to build it. Okay. Let me get myself engines. Cause that's, a, that's pretty important to this one. I'm going to need sensors. I'm going to want a switch or something like that. Then, what is that? Okay, ignore that thing. Um, yes, we're going to want, and the, yeah, we're going to want pipes. Okay, I already put down a seat. So cool. Um, we're going to put down three electric engines in a pattern like that. And then on this here, we're going to put a bearing. Uh, I didn't get a straight bearing. Crap. We're going to put a bearing. We're going to... And a pipe, bearing, pipe. Now these could be any pipe, or they could be blocks, but the blocks might get a little stuck on the engines on either side, so I'd recommend using some sort of round pipe. Oh, I made this too long. You only need three bearings. Then on top of that, we're going to put a T pipe. And on either side of that, we're going to put a switch or a button. Button works too. Then up here, we're going to want to put a sensor on either side and set both of these to one range. 
Now that's pretty much all you have to build. So you're gonna set, you're gonna connect that engine to the seat. Then you can connect this engine here, right? You're gonna put that up to five. Then you're gonna connect this bearing to this engine and this engine to that seat, at that sensor, sorry. So when that sensor is picking it up, we want the whole thing to rotate that direction so it is correct already. Good. So we're going to want to turn around. We're going to hook up this sensor to that guy, hook up that there, and we're going to turn that around so it'll go the other direction. And we're going to set these guys to uh, one below middle. Uh, the reason this one is on slightly higher power is because this hitting the engine pushes back as well. So, um, yeah, oh, I have it on the lift. Let's take it off the lift. And I believe this is it. Yep. See? That's all you need. So there's that. Um, I'll upload all of these to the workshop under the names... Uh, electric WS converter and controller WS converter. So if you want to find those, you'll probably be able to find it under that or a bunch of other things as well. Um, let's see. Okay, yep, now for the controller one. So the controller is a little more complicated. So we're gonna need a few different things. We're gonna want logic gates. Actually, we'll get to that later. Let's let's put the platform down and stuff first. Okay, cool. Then we're gonna put down a wood block, and on that wood block, we're gonna put a bearing, a pipe, bearing, a pipe, and a bearing. Oh, and on that bearing, we're gonna have that pipe going up. We're gonna have a T going up from there. And on either side of that T, we're going to have switches or buttons, yet again. Okay, so we're going to need controllers now. And we're going to need logic gates. We're going to need timers. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's... Oh, we're going to need a seat as well. So let's put down a seat. So we're gonna need three controllers. So let's put one controller here, one controller here, one controller there. Um, so all of these controllers are gonna go into bearings like that. On top of these two controllers like this, we're gonna put a sensor, if I can rotate it right there. And we're gonna set those to one distance. Okay, so this sensor I'm going to connect, or no, I'm not, sorry. I'm going to put a timer here and a timer here, and then a logic gate there and a logic gate there. So we're going to set both of these logic gates to OR. So uh, we're going to, yeah, we're going to connect that sensor into that, that sensor into this timer, and this timer into the logic gate. So basically what this is saying, I'm going to set this timer, uh, let me make sure I get these timings right. Both of them are, yeah, 100 milliseconds. So you're going to set both timers to 100 milliseconds. There we go. And... Goodness, this is hard. Okay, there. <laughs> so basically what this is going to do, so if either trigger is active then this logic gate is going to power that controller. Oh yeah, I forgot to connect the controller. But uh, yeah, so if either of those is active, that controller is going to be powered. So if the sensor is active, the controller will be powered. But when the sensor turns off, the timer is going to run out. And once that timer runs out, then the controller will turn off. So uh, both of these are going to be put all of the controllers on loop or this will not work at all. Cool. And let me make sure I get all of this right. I don't remember exactly what I did here. I messed around with it quite a bit. Yep, 30. It'll be 30 degrees on all of these, I believe. Yep, 30 degrees. 
So, yeah, let's connect all this up. There we go. Yeah, okay, so that controller, which, uh, which bearings this controller tied into? I cannot tell. Okay, it's tied into this front one. Cool. So, we'll want to get this one on negative 30. You can put the seed on either way, negative or positive. It it just depends on how how you have that set up will cause either sensor to be forwards or backwards. It really doesn't matter. Whoops, I disconnected that. So, okay, this one's going to be positive 60 or 30. Sorry, not 60. Definitely don't do 60. It won't work at all. Okay, well, I think that's it. Let's test this out. Nope, definitely not it. I didn't connect the seat up. Um, okay, that should be it. Cool. Yep. Ah, see, see what I mean there? It's not the most reliable. Sometimes it gets caught up a little bit. But it's definitely better than nothing. This will just... Yeah, I don't know. So both of those will be uploaded to the workshop. So you can find those if you need more help with this. Take a closer look at all of the timings and everything. And I'm sure there are better ways to do, especially this one. <laughs> but I'm, yeah. This is my video on WS and AD converters. I had to look at my keyboard, goodness. Um. So I hope it was helpful, and if you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please leave a like, and yeah, I'll see you next time.